Hello everybody. So today we're cooking shrimp and grits on the Blackstone. I love shrimp and grits. One of my favorite meals. Every time I go to brunch, I gotta get two things. Bloody Mary, shrimp and grits. No question. So uh, I love shrimp and grits. If, you, if you've never had it before, you gotta give it a shot. The flavors, the different textures, oh, it's so good. They just, they, they, they go really well together. Before we get started with that though, I wanna let you know that I'm very excited that I am going to be on the hot seat with uh, CJ and Kent. The hot seat is a, it's a live interview basically uh, where I get asked a bunch of questions. Uh, CJ is from Cooking with CJ, he's the host. And Kent is from Daddy Dutch Barbecue, he's the co-host with the most. And it's a lot of fun, there's drinking involved. You gotta check it out, all right? It's Thursday, November 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern. And I want to represent, so I would like if you guys could show up, log in, tune in, um, comment, say hello, ask questions. So there's two types of questions. There's, there's the regular questions from CJ, and then there's questions from the live chat. So this is where you guys can kind of ask questions if you like as well. Find out about me, Big Cat 305, what I'm all about. So I'm very excited to be on there. I'm a big fan of CJ's channel, Cooking with CJ, as well as Daddy Dutch. Uh, the links will be down below. Make sure you check out their channels as well. So with that being said, let's get to some shrimp and grits. Let's get cooking. All right, let's go through the ingredients. Uh, starting on the left, we've got our Cajun seasoning from Badia. I've used it before, it's really good. We got some minced garlic, uh, salt and pepper. We've got our five minute quick grits uh, from Quaker. You can use whatever kind of grits you want. <laughs> it's up to you. These are the ones I like. They work out great. Uh, I've got some mild cheddar shredded cheese. I've got some shrimp that is peeled, deveined with the tails on, extra large, 26 to 30 count. Uh, they work really well. Got those at Walmart for a great deal. Uh, we've got some chicken broth. We've got some Worcestershire sauce and some lemon juice, butter, parsley, and some thick cut bacon. So we're gonna start off by cooking our grits first. So we're gonna take our, our chicken broth, put that in a pot, get it nice and bubbly like that. Turn it down a little bit because you don't want too, too hot. And you're gonna add your grits just a little bit at a time here and kind of stir them in as you go. I turn the heat down to like a medium low at this point. And once you start adding the grits, they, you can see it kind of slows down, the, the boiling slows down. So that's it, you wanna mix them in, stir them up. So they don't get clumpy, they're nice and even. And again, these are quick grits. They literally take about five minutes to cook, but you want to keep stirring them the whole time. You do not want to leave these sitting alone. Keep stirring them. Um, the instructions say water. I use chicken broth. I figure it tastes better. You can add some salt. You're gonna add some pepper. Just to give it some flavor here and just keep stirring. You're gonna add some butter, about three tablespoons of butter here. And again, this is all just for flavor, so keep stirring it up. You can see it's already starting to thicken up a little bit. And then, Fast forward just a little bit. I didn't show the whole thing because I don't want you to sit there for five minutes watching me cook grits. <laughs> Fast forward a little bit. Now we're gonna add our cheese. When it gets to this uh, consistency, you wanna add some cheese. Uh, these, uh, I, I added about a 
third of this bag here. This bag has two cups. I uh, added about a third of it here. Stir it in. Kind of see how it looks. It's up to you guys and girls. Whatever you want as far as consistency, texture, cheesiness. You know I love the cheese, so <laughs> I'm going to add some more cheese, but I figured let's start a little bit at a time. You can always add more, but you can't take out. So that right there is a nice consistency, but I think we can add some more. So I do right here. Here's another probably third of the bag. So we're about two thirds in. And that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> Mix it in, looking good, it's nice and hot. It will not take long for this cheese to melt. And it's looking good, <laughs> just like that. Boom, so here's our cheesy grits. I'll show you the texture, oh yeah. That looks nice and thick right there. That is perfect. And that's it, we set that up to the side. Uh, keep it on like a low. I usually keep like half the actual pan on the burner. Keep it on like a low heat just to keep it ready while we make our our shrimp. So we're going to start off with five slices of bacon. Making bacon on the Blackstone. Nothing better. And real simple. Flip it a couple times. Uh, I'll go through this process pretty quickly. You can hear the scissor, and that's it. So, again, with the bacon, same thing. Consistency, uh, not consistency, but doneness is up to you. You want them super crispy, or do you want them a little bit on the, you know, the, the less crispy side? That's up to you. So I kind of did them in the middle there. So we use our bacon grease. You want to keep that on the Blackstone. And then here's where we're gonna add our shrimps. Now these cook really quick, so you want to get them on as quick as you can and then start with the toppings, or the uh, the seasonings I should say, which are, first up we're going to add some minced garlic, about a teaspoon of minced garlic, and we're going to add some of that Cajun seasoning from Badia. It's really good. I've tried it before. I like it a lot, actually. Put that on sparingly. It's not it's not that hot, so but it gives it great flavor. Some parsley there. A little bit of chopped parsley. Some salt. Some pepper. Kind of move these in together. They only take about two minutes or so, maybe three minutes on each side, and that's it. You want to overcook these. If you overcook them, they're going to taste like rubber. You don't want that, so. We still have to add here some lemon juice, as well as some Worcestershire sauce. which is right here. And I'll put all the amounts in the uh, description below, all the, uh, all the ingredients with the, uh, the amounts. So you can imagine what this is smelling like right now. Oh my God, it smells so good. And that's it. After about two, three minutes, you flip them, you can see they are looking nice and crispy on that one side. And that's it. We flip them all. I'll fast forward here a little bit. And that's it. Once they're all flipped, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add the same ingredients again. More Cajun seasoning, more um, 
Salt and pepper, more garlic. Same thing you added the first time, you're gonna add the second time. And that's it. This dish is super simple. Really, the only way you can mess this up is by cooking it too long. I would say that's probably the only way you could have an issue with this. So. As long as you stay under that six minute mark, you're fine. And that's it. After we turn them over, that's it. They've cooked. I just kind of mix them around to get those flavors all nice and joined up together. Get that sticky stuff off the bottom, which is the awesome flavor. Get some more of that bacon juice in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that bacon uh, grease is like magic. I'm surprised they don't sell that in the bottle. There you go. There's an idea, ladies and gentlemen. Bacon grease by Big Cat 305. There you go. All right, so here we go. Looks beautiful. We'll give it a nice little close-up here. One last close-up of that shrimp. Oh, that looks delicious. And let's go give it a taste. shrimp and grits man that <laughs> that looks awesome uh, super easy to make on the blackstone and the stove for the grits grits are easy yeah listen you can do grits whatever way you want you want to do them the long way the short way the quick way the hard way the easy way whatever you want I love grits so I can't wait to dig into these we got the bacon, we got the shrimp, we've got the garlic, the salt, the pepper, the Cajun seasoning. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's dig in. Cheesy, cheesy grits. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I can tell you right now, the grits taste amazing with the bacon in there. Mmm. The cheese. Got a little bit of heat on the shrimp. Oh my God. That is comfort food on steroids. Mmm. If you've never tried shrimp and grits, you don't know what you're missing. Give it a shot. It's one of my favorites. It's everybody's favorites because of, for a reason, because it's really, really good. And really easy to make. So give it a shot. Again, I want to um, remind you, Thursday, November 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm on the hot seat with CJ and Kent. Looking forward to it. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I want to thank you for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.